The Daily Mail is one of the most vicious and dangerous purveyors of racist propaganda in the UK, and that danger spreads globally through its website. The Mail's ability to churn out racial hatred, misogyny, and anti-LGBT bigotry is only possible because of the support of its advertisers. So I made these stickers and started going into businesses and stickering their um, products, catalogues and leaflets, announcing these companies' financial support for the Daily Mail's bigotry. The idea is that other people can get involved in this. So I've made the printable files available on my website so you can print them at home or at work. You can also order the sticker sheets directly from me at cost price. I think this idea will work best if you're able to photograph the products with the stickers on them in the shop and share that online, tag the company involved and call on them to end their support for the mail. We need to make marketing departments feel uncomfortable about their brands financially supporting and being associated with this toxic racist newspaper. You can also take a pile of leaflets home, sticker them there, and then drop them back off like I did with these Nectar Card leaflets and Lloyd's banking leaflets. Stop Funding Hate regularly publish lists on Twitter of the top daily advertisers in the Daily Mail, with the hope that people can use that information to pressure those businesses to stop funding the Mail's hatred through ad sales. This is just one idea, it's, it's cheap and easy to do, um, but there are many other ways we can restrict the Daily Mail's ability to churn out racist and bigoted lies. A previous project I started last year um, involved stickering the Metro's distribution bins. The, the Metro's owned by the Daily Mail, so every time you pick one up, you're helping support the Daily Mail. I wanted to discourage that, so um, you can also get these stickers from my website. Um, they're still going up and they're still staying up. I hope. Some people watching this want to get involved or that this gives you some ideas about other ways we can resist and subvert right-wing propaganda. Um, thanks for listening.